Jimmy, let him hear it. Let him hear it. Not really, this is mediocre. All right. Everybody, did we all get the coronavirus? Is that what happened? We're all... Everybody got upset right there. Okay. What a great start. This guy hates me already. Very good. Undercover cop in the front. That's not a good disguise, sir. Okay. Crime detective right here. This is you're great. I like you. Look like Humphrey Bogart. This is fantastic. We'll go right after the show, solve a mystery. We'll figure out where all the money's going from the MTA and the Metro parts. Because it's not going on subway. The past 40 years. I don't know what's going on. My name is Mike Scroy. Uh, not to be confused with what they called me in high school, Mike's groin. <laughs> you left a little too hard there. <laughs> Thank you. The worst nickname I got in high school was Mike Scrotum. People were like, hey, Mike Scrotum, how's it hanging? Hey, why don't you ask your mother, you son of a bitch. Kids are ruthless. Uh, I'm Italian. Uh, any times? Any times? Two? This is New York! What happened? There we go. Like, did you have the, like, my grandmother was a typical Italian grandmother. She used to stir, stir sauce in the kitchen. She used her arm fat and just get in the pot there. <laughs> Didn't even use oil or seasoning, just sweat it into the pot. That was a blessing in our house. That's what we did. Italians, we don't get a lot of respect. Like, Italians, we invented Uber. We invented Uber. We did. Instead of putting people in the back seat, we just stuffed them in the trunk. <laughs> Apparently that didn't count. I don't know. We don't get a lot of respect. We just had a movie with three of the greatest Italian actors ever, right? De Niro, Pacino, Pesci. What do they call it? The Irishman. That's not fair. <laughs> Wait a minute. That was a long movie. I ran into a friend of mine who hadn't seen him in a while. I was like, where the hell have you been? I just finished watching The Irishman. <laughs> it came out in November! How long is this movie? People were really upset that that movie was a long movie. It was three and a half hours, which I understand. But these are the same people who will binge watch eight hours of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> I'm originally from uh, Brooklyn. Originally from Brooklyn. Um, you know who else is from Brooklyn? Captain America is from Brooklyn. What happened to his accent? Captain America should have been played by Tony Danza, okay? <laughs> like, I'm watching the movie, and he's like, I'm just a kid from Brooklyn. Yeah, Brooklyn, Ohio, maybe. <laughs> In that movie, every time somebody cursed, he would get mad. He'd be like, language, language. <laughs> Nobody from Brooklyn says language, language. He's like, watch your fucking mouth, come on. <laughs> We're in church, what are you doing? <laughs> All the Avengers, they're all through New York, right? So like in reality, it wouldn't be like Iron Man and Thor and the Black Widow. It would be like Louis the Lip, Frankie the Snake, Joey D from the Bronx, my sister Marie. <laughs> Even Spider-Man. Spider-Man's from Queens. He wouldn't be all sad like Tobey Maguire. He wouldn't be, oh, Aunt Bay, Aunt Bay, what do we do? He'd be like, Aunt Bay, move the fucking car, I'm going out. <laughs> Why'd you send Uncle Ben to Manhattan for milk? Now he's dead. <laughs> I live in a uh, I live in a studio apartment. Um, if anybody wants to know what that's like, imagine having a walk-in closet without the rest of the house. <laughs> the real estate agent she uh, she goes to show me the place. She's like, "Look, I'll give you the tour." It's like, "How are you going to give me a tour of a studio apartment?" All right, Mike, close your eyes. Open them. That's a tour. <laughs> she, look, it's, I know the place is small, but it's a nice place. In fact, an actor used to live here. Who, Peter Dinklage? Oh. Oh. He played... Hey, what do you know him? You don't know him. <laughs> Peter Dinklage played Baby Yoda. Did I get that right? <laughs> I don't have much in this, I don't have much because I have nowhere to put anything, but I, I don't have much. So, yeah, like, you ever have somebody break into your apartment and they take nothing? <laughs> I had a guy, he broke into my apartment and he started putting stuff in my apartment from the last place he robbed. <laughs> Here, Mike, take this lamp, you need it more than I do. <laughs> they came to arrest the guy, they're like, uh, I'm like, look, don't take him to jail, he can have my apartment, take me to jail, that's... A punishment. That's good. 
None of the appliances work in my apartment. I have a toaster with two settings, nothing and cremation. <laughs> you ever try to butter soot for breakfast? That's not fun. <laughs> I get really depressed in that apartment, and a friend of mine, you know, I'm talking to him, and the mic stand is, never mind, all right, cool. I'm not smart. Um, <laughs> it's only first grade science, I can't figure out how to, never mind. <laughs> Call my friend, I'm all upset about this apartment, he's like, Mike, you know what you gotta do? You gotta get up early in the morning, you gotta go to that window, and you say, I'm gonna make it. And I said, I can't do that. He's like, no, Mike, you can. I'm like, I can't, I don't have a fucking window. <laughs> He's like, why don't we go out? Let's do one of those escape rooms. Escape room? That's my goddamn apartment. He's like, no, it's fun. You get to do puzzles. You want to do a puzzle? Well, just go back to my place and figure out how to break my lease, all right? All right, thank you very much. I'm going to start. Thanks for coming out.